we examine the impact of organization structure on quality, productivity and lead time. Let us start with a traditional organization structure of departments. Here's the first department with two ladies. Let's see what they do. We are marking department and we mark. I am the material handler and I carry material from one department to another. As you can see, I take the output of this department and transfer it into the input of the next. And what does the next department do? We are the stapling department. We fold and staple. Do all of you fold and staple? No, I am the reworker. I work on the defense. And once the folding and stapling is done, where does the material go? It goes to the third department. So we are the trimming and quality inspecting team. What we do is we trim off the edges and then wherever we identify faults, we send those pieces back to the reworker. Looks like there are a lot of defects. Now I will take these defects and transfer it in the reworking department. Oh my god, so many defects again. It is yes. such a waste of time. Well, but you get a job, no? But still, it is such a waste of time. This could anyway, happen. now, uh, one question to the two of you is where are the defects coming from? So mostly these defects are coming from the stapling department. There is either a problem in folding or in stapling. Marking more or less is never wrong. Yet another defect. Let me go and check what is going wrong here. Hello team. Hello. Hello. Hi, please help me understand what is going wrong. Why are we facing so many defects? Do we really make defects? I don't think so. I'm surprised to hear this. Disha takes care of the material. Manogna, what do you think? Why don't we send back the defects to us? So that we learn. But how can this be done? Shobna, any clues? Why don't we use the crayons to put a mark on the pieces that we work on? That would be great. So what will happen? And I will make sure that I bring back the defects to the appropriate person. So now we are putting a mark. And now Disha will move the marked pieces to the final uh, stage. At the final stage, you will find that uh, the rejections are also in a marked condition. And now I will take the rejected output and give it back to the appropriate person. We have an interesting situation now. You know? This reworker is no longer required to do the rework. Oh wow, that's a great news. Right, so we are going to remove this reworker out and this person will now be a full pleasured worker. Disha, please supply new material to this worker. Yes, sir. Have you noticed something? Just by returning the rejected pieces to the person who made the defect, we are able to create a learning situation. Are you people able to learn and find your mistakes? Absolutely. Yes. I realized that I was folding the paper wrongly. Okay. So there is improvement according to them. But let's ask the people in quality, what do you find? You can see that the defects have been drastically reduced. And? Sometimes some... I even go to them and tell them what the defect they have made and I give them a feedback as to what has to be improved. Do you really appreciate it? Yes. 
So is everything all right now with this new system? Well, it's not because I have to do a lot of sorting when I bring back the defects to the appropriate person. Besides, I have to walk a lot. Oh, you have to walk a lot. But uh, what can we do about that? I See, wish I could get the pieces immediately after she has worked it. The ideal thing would be if each folding operator, folding and stapling operator could sit next to the trimming operator. But we will need to change the layout for that. And if we are able to do that, then these piles of work, can you see the pile of work? This pile of work can disappear because the moment the piece is done, the piece will be given to the trimming person. I need input. Where are you, Disha? Wait. Let me get done with this work first and then I'll give you the material. Oh, that means the marking also should be near to the folding. Uh, let us look at marking. Well, there are lots of piles here. Sir, I already have a lot of output here. Can we make an improvement in this situation? Let's break department. I can sit with two of the stapling persons and then one with the trimmer. And I can sit with the other two. Let's change the layout now, shall we? Yes. yes. <laughs> Alright, so the folding stapling table has come right next to the marking table and we have Shruti here who was the trimmer who is also come right there. So we are having a cell. This is like a factory within a factory. I take input from here, I complete marking and I place it over here. I take it from here. I fold it, I staple it, I mark it and I place it here. And since our speed is half of that of the Agni, we need 2 to compensate for the speed of 1. I take the piece from here, I cut it and put it back in the output here. Now, since we are working together, we can, I can now match the speed with them and work. This allows us to get excellent quality because only one piece can be defective. If they make a defective, Shruti will immediately tell Manogna, right? Yes. The productivity goes up because there are no piles. The material flows fast. The lead time is drastically reduced. The throughput time is drastically reduced. Customer happy on all counts, cost reduced. What more do you want? The productivity goes up because the rework is drastically reduced. And we don't need a material handler. They are all sitting within arm's distance. This is how a cellular working becomes superior to a departmental working. Notice there are no departments now. So now let's make another factory in a factory. Let's make another cell. So once again the marking has come close to the folding stapling and which has come close to the trimming and final inspection. But now there is no real big need for final inspection. Because everybody is inspecting everybody else's pieces. So I am the captain of this team and I am going to handle the administrative work of this team. We have got two cells now and this work that comes is divided according to the customers. One set of customers give work to this cell, another set of customers give work to this cell. So when the order comes, we just hand it over to the cells. We are self-managed teams now. We have learnt multi-skilling, so whenever any one of us is absent, we manage it within the team itself. If anyone needs help, we help each other out. We don't need a boss. Yeah! <laughs>